One of the posters was on the Oncotype DX testing for moderate risk breast cancer um, and it's a test that can be done and basically the test then tells us if the patient will benefit from receiving chemotherapy or not and obviously the rationale behind that is that we don't want to give people chemotherapy if they're not going to benefit from it but they may get the side effects. Um, so it's a test that we do um, over in California. The decision to do the test is made at the multidisciplinary team meeting depending on the patient's histology if they fall into that category then the test is requested before the patient is seen in the clinic. So over just over a year period um, we had 56 patients and actually 28 of them went on not to need chemotherapy. So from the patient point of view that's a big plus, A because it means they can get onto the radiotherapy and their hormone treatment much sooner which is obviously the treatment that they're going to need straight away but also it means they don't get exposed to the chemotherapy without the benefits but as I say they may well get the side effects. And then I think you also need to kind of remember from the organisational point of view, it will free up a lot of chair time that we can then treat other patients that really do need the chemotherapy. Initially when the um, Oncotype DX test was available, the patients had to self-fund, which obviously that was a lot of money for them, especially if it then came back that they might not have needed the treatment. But I think in a way it gave them the reassurance. So that was the first stage. And then obviously um, NICE and NHS England then commissioned the test so the patients no longer had to self-fund. So it's now standard practice. Um, different organisations do it in different ways. Some do it when they see the patient, they then recommend the test. But we feel that by doing it upfront from the MDT decision, um, we can save the patient a lot of anxiety and not come into appointments where lots of things are discussed that might not happen. So the big change is that it is now in our standard practice for that group of patients. Uh, and I think in time to come, they'll do the test for different tumour sites and also alter the criteria slightly for the breast patients as well. So interesting times for the patients.